What is up guys, the Premium right here and welcome back to a brand new squad builder series called Silver, Super Silver Sweaty Squads. I can't even, I couldn't even remember the, my own fucking series then. Anyway, the title pretty much, you know, explains what this series is going to be like. We're going to be going through the different leagues through our ultimate team and building the sweatiest silver sides possible. Um, you know, there are a lot of sweaty players throughout the whole of Ultimate Team, but silver seem to be the most sweatiest, I don't know why. Um, but that, because of that, that pushes their prices up. So these, these squads are a little bit expensive. There's, a, there's going to be a couple of informs in this, there's, there's one inform in this one, but throughout the other squads there might be a couple of, couple of informs, but you know, you can leave those out to save some coins. If you are talking about coins, if you guys want cheap, reliable coins, head over to UT Coin Bank. I shall leave the link to the uh, website and the Twitter down in the description. So today we're going to be doing BPL. Leave me down in the description, uh, sorry, in the comments, which um, squad you'd like me to build next, which league. You know, we can go Spanish League, Bundesliga, or whatever, and I'll crack on with building um, some sweaty squads, some sil super silver sweaty squads from that particular league. Right, so let's crack on, and in goal... There is only one man for the job, and that is Costel Pantilimon from Manchester City. We picked him up for 3,200 coins. Very, very well-rounded stats for a 74-rated goalkeeper. Standout stats being his 77 reflexes, his 75 diving, and his 75 positioning. But he does also have 70 handling and 70 kicking, and he's six foot eight, so he commands the area like an absolute beast. Um, sometimes, you know, his diving's not that bad, but sometimes because he's so tall, he can't get down to shots. But apart from that, for 3,200 coins, well worth every penny. At left back, we've gone for Alexander Butner from Manchester United. Picked him up for 6,900 coins. And his standout stats are his 83 pace and his 74 dribbling. But just like Pantilimon, very well rounded stats. He's also got 70 defending, 70 heading, 69 pace and 67 shooting. Fantastic card all round. At right back, moving over to Cardiff, and we've got Katarin. I can't pronounce the first barrel with his uh, double barrel name. Kevin Theopi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, I know it's Katarin, the second part. Anyway, we picked him up for 1,400 coins, and his standout stats being his 75 defending and his 74 pace. But he does also have its 72 heading, 69 passing, and its 68 dribbling. Moving on to the two centre-backs now. These two are an absolute... Oh, they're just the best partnership, I reckon. On the left centre-back, we've got Stephen Corker from Cardiff. Picked him up for 7,900 coins. And his standout stats being his 78 defending... Uh, sorry, 78 heading and his 75 defending. But he does also have at 73 pace. And moving over to Adrian Mariapa at right centre-back. We picked him up for 5,700 coins. And his standout stats are his 81 heading and his 79 pace. But he does also have at 75 defending. These two are an absolute partnership. Obviously, when you're looking at centre-backs, you're looking at you're looking at pace, defending and heading. And if those three stats are, are anywhere, near those you know you're going to get uh, a decent little card going on there moving on to the two CDMs now at left centre defensive mid we've got Victor Wanyama and at right centre defensive mid we've got Mohamed Diame from West Ham we picked Diame up for 10,250 coins and look at those stats very very well rounded stats absolutely fantastic stand up stats being his 82 dribbling and his 78 pace but he does also have at 72 defending 76 heading 71 passing and 68 shooting 6 foot 1 as well I've got the powerhouse trait on him the powerhouse chemistry style sorry and uh, him and Wanyama really do work well speaking of Wanyama let's move on to him picked him up for 25,000 coins one of the most expensive players in this squad because he is very very rare Anyway, his standout stats being his 84 heading and his 77 defending. But again, like Diame, very well on his stats. He's also got 75 pace, 75 dribbling, 72 passing, and 68 shooting. Having these two at CDM is like having an extra pair of centre backs. They defend. They are just so good at defending. Uh, they really do work back, and then they leave the four, you know, left mid cam, right mid and striker to push up the field and get the attacking play going on. At right mid, we've got Andrus Townsend from Spurs. Picked him up for 8,400 coins. This is his non-upgraded card. I think there's an upgraded 74 rated card now, which is 100 and something K. And I know he's also got an inform 74 rated card now as well, which is like 500 K, I think. So obviously I've saved, I've saved myself bags of coins by just going for the, for the uh, non-upgraded card. Anyway, 8,400 coins, absolute bargain for a player of his standard. Standout stats being his 88 pace and his 77 dribbling. But he does also have at 67 passing and a 66 shooting. Cutting in from that left-hand side. Finessing them in. Banging them in. Top minutes. Chicken dinners. Absolutely fantastic card. Moving on to left mid now. We've got Lamar. Roland Lamar from Swansea. Giving it the old rape face in his picture. 
Picked him up for 4,700 coins. And again, like Townsend, fantastic card. It's 90 pace and 74 dribbling are his standout stats. But again, not too, not too bad. Well runner stats there at the bottom. 69 pace, 66 heading, 64 shooting, and 62 defending. Like, um, uh, sorry, no, I was going to say he's, I was going to say like Townsend. Uh, inverted wingers cutting in from the right left hand side but he's actually left footed so I was going to fuck myself up there anyway at, we move on to Cam and we've got in form Ross Barkley the most expensive player in this squad picked him up for 151,000 coins now to be honest I don't think he's worth that after using his normal card and then moving over to this card you know just get his normal card because there isn't that much of an upgrade to be honest six foot two anyway his standout stats being his 80 pace his 74 dribbling and his 74 passing but it does also have a 70 sorry 67 heading 67 shooting and 60 defending as i said 151k not worth that at all the only reason he's that expensive is because he's silver and because he's quite rare there's only about 10 or 15 on the market at each time so if i was to you if i was you just get the normal card and finally, there is only one man for the job up front, and that is Gabriel Agbon Lahore. Picked him up for 34,000 coins. An absolute constant, sweaty, built BPL player th through the years. You know, from FIFA, from FIFA 11 onwards. I think FIFA 10, he still had pace. FIFA 11, he had like 93 pace and was a gold. But the past two past two FIFAs, he's, uh, he's been silver. Anyway, standout stats obviously being his 90 pace and his 74 dribbling. But he does also have a 74 heading and 70 shooting, 5 foot 11, a really, really good card, as you can see there, scores 12 in 20, so not too bad, but chipped in uh, with goals from uh, Barkley, Townsend, and Lamar. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Um, that is, yeah, that's it. If you guys did enjoy the video, um, starting at the end here, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Please leave down in the comment section which, uh, you know, league you'd like me to build next, and I'll crack on building some super sweaty silver squads. I keep forgetting what the name of the series is because it's fucking tongue twister. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. I'll leave you guys with the goals right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.